Get ready to match the stars. Larry Hovis, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Patty Deutsch, Richard Dawson, and Madeline Rue as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Rivers. you to come. I thank you for joining us here, wherever you are, and I thank you for joining us, because we couldn't do it without you. <laughs> what are you mumbling about, Richard Dawson? I just said a star is born. You got an ovation there. Well, they're just, uh, their hearts are full of good cheer. No, I think they recognize CNR clothiers when they... <laughs> Let's say hello to our two players, Candy Carter and Iris Clementi. Hello, ladies. When time expired last time, we had just finished a game. Candy had won a pretty good bundle of cash. How do you feel today, Candy? Great. Good. Money has a way of dispelling all <laughs> right. of your gloom and it sure depression. Does. And uh, we hadn't had a chance to say hello to Iris Clementi. Let's find out a little bit about Iris right now. Well, I was born and raised in California. I married, and we have three little boys. Okay. Good luck to you, ladies. We'll begin this game right after we pass along this message. Okay. If you're ready, ladies, we're ready. You ready? All right, I'll push a button and reveal the two questions there. Iris asked you as a challenger to make a selection. A. A. Okay. <laughs> Anything you say, Iris? It's all right with me. You're so racy for a man hey. you're raised. <laughs> the hobo said, in this city, they'll steal anything. For safekeeping, I have to bury my blank. <laughs> a hobo is speaking. You know, some of is you may like be too young to remember what hobos were. I remember they used to put an X on your sidewalk if you gave them something to eat. Did you that's know right. that? Yeah, that's right. We had more exes in our neighborhood. <laughs> Woo! Uh, what was the question? The hobo said, in this city, they'll steal anything. For safekeeping, I have to bury my blank. Brett, we can't wait all day. Why not? What better do we have to do except to sit around and do nothing except... All right, they're them. all finished. So Iris will call on you. The hobo said, in this city, they'll steal anything. For safekeeping, I even have to bury my blank. Booze. Booze. Okay, she says booze, which I guess would include whiskey, wine, or whatever hobos are. Winos, aren't they? What do you say, Larry? She's a very pretty lady. She what? Oh, uh, I, 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 pardon me. I said pants. Bury my pants when he goes that to sleep. That wounded me. That wounded me. All right, Brett, what do you say? Well, you mustn't bury your booze because then you won't be able, you might forget where you put it. So you yeah. have to be very careful about that kind of thing. Uh, he had an elegant pair of pajamas, and so he had to bury his underwear. His hobo did, huh? Okay. All right, Charles. Well, the most uh, ad identical thing with a hobo, I think, is his shoes. So I said bury his shoes. Shoes, yes. Well, for a man who never wears guess... socks, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I don't know anymore. I said he had to bury his beans. <laughs> it's meaningless. Hobos eat beans. No, it's meaningful. A very so. meaningful answer. Buried his beans. They are not, hobos are not winos. I take all that back. Yes, they, they, they just beans. refuse to work. They drink gasoline. <laughs> Why do you think I do this <laughs> Here we go, oh, Richard. Yeah, they, uh, cover themselves up at night when they sleep on park benches with newspapers. With newspapers, they right. They have to God. bury those. They're called underground newspapers. That's <laughs> <laughs> for people who like the free press. Yes. And here's a free press for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the show. Right. Now let's move along to Madeline Rue. I love you. Uh, the hobo had to bury his pants. His pants. So, Iris, no score there. 
Let's go to this for Candy Carter. Confucius say. Oh. I love it when you act, really. <laughs> It's so lovely. He, really he told me that in the dressing room. He said, I love it when Jean acts. No, you're embarrassing me. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Confucius say, he who keep bird in hat soon have hat full of brank. <laughs> He who keep bird in hat soon have hat full of brink. <laughs> uh, right. low. Lower tier is ready, upper tier. Well, look how quickly I You like I your answer, Larry? Uh, I haven't even seen it, I like. Hey, my look. mother told me. Oh, I see. Really? All right, Candy. He <laughs> who keep bird in hat soon have hat full of... Bird droppings. <laughs> you said that? Mary, huh? that sweet looking girl over there said bird droppings. I didn't even know you could say that's that on great. television. And that's my date later, too. <laughs> <laughs> what is your oh, answer? I said. What was all that shit talk in the dressing room about being you? That was a lie. <laughs> I said feathers. Hat full of feathers. That's okay. a lovely answer. That's a beautiful <laughs> answer. What's your beautiful answer, Brett? Oh, I do have a beautiful answer, too, and it's if I start tearing up, just to ignore it and try and go on. <laughs> <laughs> I said bird droppings. <laughs> That's one for you. Charles. I was next to her and she wrote it, and I realized that she was a very sick lady, but that makes two because Candy is also a sick lady. <laughs> the only thing you can concern yourself with with birds is, of course, lovely eggs. Have a hat full of that eggs. Sweet yes. thing. Beautiful answer. Thank you. Just, uh, that's the one that's going to make me cry. Is ah. it? Yeah. May I have violins for mine? Yes, all right. Mm -hmm. I said a hat full of bird do. <laughs> bird do. That's the most disgusting thing you've ever said. <laughs> All right, sir. I think we should point out that has nothing to do with uh, San Bernardino, they, which they sometimes call San Bernadou. <laughs> <laughs> I did write dropping. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Madeline, would you save the day? <laughs> no, because no? it's bird doo doo. Oh! <laughs> okay. So at the, <laughs> at the end of round one, and it was a pretty messy round, I'll tell you that, it's four to nothing in favor of the bird lady. <laughs> and we'll come back to more of this guano heap right after this message.